there's a lot of skulls and things in the desert. And that was the same thing for me. I saw it and it intrigued me and I started painting that. I really love the desert. Does anyone else have a question? Go ahead. What was your favorite thing to draw? Because we learned that yesterday. Mm -hmm. You draw other things besides flowers and bones, like houses. Oh yes, I did houses too, but I did houses a little different than what the traditional artists did. When I did houses, it was about the color and the shadows, things I saw. If you saw, did you see mountains that I had painted also? Oh, no. oh, it was the same thing. It's about the shadow and the colors and the shapes. It wasn't about looking like it would if you took a picture. It was about how you felt whenever you looked at it and the nice, beautiful, way that it looks only in your eyes, not in other people's eyes. Why, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. I learned though, whenever I first became an artist, that it isn't about what other people think if they tell you that you're not a good artist, don't listen to them. If they tell you're a good artist, you know, it's not that important. It's really important how you feel about what you made because it's all about you putting yourself on paper. How are you? Oh my goodness, I, I think I know who it is. Um, does anyone have a guess who this artist is? What do you think, Shailen? Grandma Moses? You're right. Oh my, yes. Do you know what kind of art I did? No. Anybody grow up on a farm or in the rural area? I grow up. Yes, you I temper paint? No, I'm what they call a folk artist because actually you guys are very young artists, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know when I started painting? I was 70 years old. Mm. And I started painting what I saw out on the farm, like apples and pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And in the winter time, I painted uh, No, honey, I mean, I had five children and we farmed most of our life in New York. You believe that one? No. Oh, it's true, Sonny. I, I thought it was over, like, in Michigan or something where there's lots of farms. Well, you know, in the rural areas of New York, you got to think back 101 years. There were farms back then. Yeah. And still are, actually. Well, what made you think you wanted to start painting? Well, that's a very good question. My husband passed away, and when he passed away, I had to have something to occupy my time. So I painted a couple of paintings. And from there, I was recognized by a, a, an art collector who came in and bought all my paintings. Well, 